All right, so now we're going to move on to our second video, which is going to be subtracting rational expressions. Now you'll see this is very similar to exactly to what we just did in adding. There's just one more step that you need to add to it. All right, so here we have this problem. We have um, x plus 2 over x squared minus 2x minus x plus 2 over 2x minus 4. All right, so same thing that we did before. We need to factor our denominators. So we're left with x plus 2 over x times x minus 2, because there's an x in both, and then minus x plus 2 over 2 times x minus, sorry, 2 times x minus 2. All right, now we need to look to see what, what are we missing. Here I have an x minus 2, and here I have an x minus 2. Here I have an x, I'm missing that x. And here I have a 2, and I'm missing that 2. So that means in this fraction, I need to multiply by 2 over 2. And in this fraction, let me change that color, I need to multiply by x over x. All right, so that way I have all of my denominators. All right, so now I'll write this out as 2 times x plus 2 over 2x times x minus 2 minus x times x plus 2 over 2x times x minus 2. All right, we will then distribute the 2 in, and we'll distribute the x in. So then we're left with 2x plus 4 over 2x times x minus 2 minus x squared plus 2x over 2x times x minus 2. All right, so now this is the one thing that's different from adding. Since this is now a, subtracting, a subtraction sign, you need to remember to distribute that in to everything in this numerator. So everything here needs to be distributed. Right, so what you can do is, since we now have common denominators, we could, we'll rewrite this up here, just put our one common denominator, and we'll have 2x times x minus 2. And then in our numerator, we can rewrite 2x plus 4 minus, and the second numerator, put it in parentheses, x squared plus 2x. And this will help to remind yourself that you need to distribute that negative sign in. So it becomes 2x plus 4 minus x squared minus 2x, all over top of 2x times x minus 2. Then we will look for common uh, like terms, which are positive 2x and a negative 2x, so they will cancel out. So now we're left with 4 minus x squared over top of 2x times x minus 2. We'll look to factor out this numerator, because remember, just like our original problem, if it reduces, you must. So we look to factor this out. Well, we can factor out a negative. And then when we factor out a negative, we're left with x squared minus 4. And this x squared minus 4 can factor out to x plus 2 and x minus 2. So we're left with negative x plus 2 times x minus 2 over top of 2x times x minus 2. The x minus 2s will cancel out. And then our final answer, we'll write here, is negative x plus 2 over 2x. All right, that is your final answer. The last thing that we would need to do is it does ask us what are the restrictions on the variable. So we would look at our denominator. So we would say that 2x cannot equal to 0. So x cannot equal to 0. Or x minus 2 cannot equal to 0. So x cannot equal to 2. So that would be the restrictions that we would have on our variable. All right, one more problem, and then we're done with this video. All right, so same thing as before. We're going to factor out our two denominators. So we'll be left with x plus 3 over x minus 2, nothing we can factor there, minus 6x minus 7 over, well, here the positive sign tells us they're the same. That tells us they're both negative, so x minus and x minus. Factors of 2 to add up 3, well, that's 2 and 1. Let me just rewrite this 2 so it's a little bit neater. All right, so here we have x minus 2 and x minus 2. Here we have x minus 1. We're missing that x minus 1. So that means we need to multiply x minus 1 to both our numerator and our, to, and our denominator. So we'll have x minus 1 times x plus 3 over top of x minus 1 times x minus 2 minus 6x minus 7 over x minus 2 times x minus 1. 
right? We will then FOIL, so first times first, that's x squared. Our outer, so that's plus 3x. Our inner, so minus x. And our last, minus 3. All over x minus 1 times x minus 2. Right, now that we have common denominators, we can then rewrite these on one numerator, and we can combine 3x and negative x. All right, so remember, the way I would like to see you guys do this is rewrite it now as x squared plus 2x, because that's 3x minus x, minus 3, and a minus, and put in parentheses the other numerator, which is 6x minus 7. So minus 6x minus 7 all over top of the numerator, x minus 2 times x minus 1. We will then distribute the negative sign in, so it becomes x squared plus 2x minus 3 minus 6x plus 7, all over top of x minus 2 times x minus 1. We will combine 7 and negative 3 and 2x and negative 6x, and that will give us x squared minus 4x plus 4 over x minus 2 times x minus 1. Just like before, we will look to see will it reduce. And yes, we can factor out our numerator. So x squared, we'll factor it out over, over here, minus 4x plus 4. This sign tells me they're the same. They're both negative, so x minus and x minus. Factors of 4 to add up to 4 are 2 and 2. So we would have x squared minus, I'm sorry, we would have x minus 2 and x minus 2 over top of x minus 2 times x minus 1. x minus 2 can cancel out. And then our final answer, I'll block this off. Our final answer will be x minus 2 over x minus 1. All right now, not every problem is going to reduce like all of these have so far. Some of them won't. Some of them will. All right, um, and the ones that don't, if it can't factor, then that's it. State any restrictions. Well, we will look back at our denominator, and we would say, see, we'll write it over here, and we will say that x minus 2 cannot equal to 0, so x cannot equal to 2, or x minus 1 cannot equal to 0, so x cannot equal to 1. All right, so those will be the restrictions on our variable. All right, this is our final answer. We subtract them, and these are our restrictions. All right, that is it for this video. One more, and we're done this section.